How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome back to another review on the channel. Now today we're going to showcase and review one of the most versatile fullbacks on this game. I'm not talking about playing centre-back, I'm talking literally about playing anyway. It is Valentino Lazaro, Newcastle legend if you guys know you know. But uh, yeah, Lazaro, he's got this team of the season moments. I believe, and don't quote me on this, I didn't even read it. Was it from his like scorpion kick? I believe he scored like a scorpion kick from on Gladbach this year, but I believe it could be for that. So good to review him today as a right back, but as a fluid right back, he's gonna play in a four, was it a four, three, two, one, and a four, three, one, two. Just have like the, the freedom to get forward in defense with his high, high work rates and see what he can offer in both defense and attack. So lads, if you do enjoy this review, you know what to do, man. Get involved in the comments in terms of leaving your ratings for Lazaro. We will do that at the end of the video, as we always do. Uh, right now, there's a section what our time where I do ask you for your overall, your enjoyments, and your value. And of course, lads, if you do enjoy or it does help you or it does give you an insight into Valentino Lazaro, make sure that you do like the video and subscribe if you do want to see more reviews on the channel and reviews to the best of my abilities anyways. I think I've played... I'll be able to tell you right now, I've played eight games with Lazaro, all in foot champs as well, and he's been really good for myself. So I'm really looking to share this review with you guys today. Like I say, he's got high, high work rates, five star skills. He's a five star skill, lads. Saying situational, five foot 11, three star weak foot. Now, the three star weak foot doesn't matter too, too much. Yes, if you want to pass it on his left foot inside, well, you're not even going to do that, to be honest, lads. He's not a natural left lefty. So, what you're going to do. Is play the ball down the line, curve it around opponents. He's got 85 curve, of course. And you're going to play it inside with his right foot. So the, the weak foot doesn't matter too, too much. And of course, five star skills are very, very good. With the high, high work rates, it does affect his positioning from time to time. Because sometimes he goes too far forward and then he's got to sprint back. But lads, just look at his pace, man. He gets back in position very, very well. So even that's. It's not a major deal break, you know what I mean? He's got 99 acceleration and 95 sprint speed. 99 and 99 when I do use an anchor. Now, the reason I did use an anchor chem style on the card was to boost his strength and aggression because I believe that would be key into his defensive plays. Now, of course, I'm using a fullback. Can you play him in different positions? Right midfielder, 3 5 2. Honestly, I even believe this guy could play right wing and like Ram. Could he play Cam? Possibly even Cam. Honestly, this guy is a jack of all trades, even CDM. This guy could play literally anywhere on this game. Striker, you probably have to stick a finisher on or something like that if you do want to play him in that position. But again, he could perform well in that position. He's got 93 attack and positioning, uh, 85 finishing, 85 shot power, 86 long shots, 97 volleys, and 82 penalties. When it does come to passing, he's very accomplished in that area. He's got 83 vision, 88 crossing. If you do want to get down the wing, you want to whip it in to a tall striker, maybe Bundesliga, Harlan, Lewandowski. You guys know the kind of deals there. By the way, Muller at striker. You just wait till you see that review. Muller's got bags of abilities. He's got 85 shot pass. Lazaro, of course, not Muller. Uh, he's got 85 curve. He's got 91 agility, 88 in terms of balance, 86 reactions, 92 ball control, 92 dribbling, and 88 composure. Of course, he does need defending stats, but he's got some as well. He's got 90 interceptions, which is clutch because he's got the high attack and work rate. And if you add a little bit of aggression to that, he's going to get the interceptions a lot of the time. 91 defensive awareness, sensational. 88 uh, stam, sorry, and 87 slide, plus 10 in both of those categories. 90 stamina, which is imperative for high, high work rates. You need good stamina on this game. And um, he's got 90. There's no, there's, no, there's no issue there, you know what I'm saying? And with Anki... It boosts his jumping. So again, back post crosses, he should be able to win that. He's got 82 strength and 81 aggression. By the traits, you can actually see uh, he does have flair. That is his only one. But guys, he's got five-star skills. And this guy is a bundle of fun. Like I say, he's a Newcastle legend. How could he not be? But guys, we're going to get into the gameplay for Valentino Lazaro right now. Let's see if he's worth 110 in terms of 110k on both consoles for this SBC. So here we go into the gameplay. Now, the first thing I wanted to showcase was... Defensive ability, he's got that, he can win the challenges, and he can do it actually really, really well, because it actually stays on him, you know what I'm saying? It actually, when you tackle with Lazaro, it stays at Lazaro's feet. I don't know whether this is, I don't know, uh, ball control, a little bit of some of those stats. By the way, he's got a bang and strike on him, which uh, you'll see later on in this review, and you'll see during some clips as well, because in this review, I'll pretty much showcase everything that he's about. Pass down the line there, so already... 
You've seen his contribution into create attacks right there, passed down the line, very simple to do. Uh, playing Douglas Costa, Douglas Costa could have back, we score a tap in. You've seen his tackling abilities, you've seen... What else? You've seen his shooting, stuff like that. And you've seen his interplay here, sensational wing play. Passes it in. Look, Muller is skilled when it does come to the art of finish, and sensational finish there by Muller. And Lazaro is very skilled at taking on opponents. What I liked about him was his one-twos and these uh, kind of marauding runs. You see where I do the one-two there, go down the line, and uh, contribute to the attack as well, because he can do that so, so well, because in attack, He's got skills. What I mean by skills is the ball control, the ability to take numerous opponents on, and the ability to be, like, um, one of the assets to your team. Look at this. He's going forward again in at the formation. Nice little chip in at Douglas Costa right there. He receives it back. I'll just go for the strike. I could have went it back to Douglas Costa, but... I just want to test his shooting out, man, because he's shooting advertisers that it could be really good. And actually really is. Uh, nice interception there by Lazaro. So defensively, sounds. Offensively, sounds. And look at this, lads. This is a goal. And the first goal that he did score for me. Now, my opponent is watching the cutback to that guy in, in the center. I don't think he actually got that out of his head. So I used his pace to uh, kind of go inside. He's dribbling. And that is a gorgeous finish on his free star. Weak foot, like I say, inside the area, weak foot doesn't really matter too, too much the closer you get to net. And that is a nice finish by Valentino Lazaro. So, yeah, in the offensive thirds, this guy can score goals. Nice little dribble, nice run, and a nice, um, just overall play, to be honest, man. And I, I really enjoyed that goal from Lazaro because it showed case to me that he can pretty much do it all when it comes to uh, attacking and defending at the same time. Receives the ball here. He has Lazaro on the ball. He cuts inside and he passes it off. And that's what you want to do with Lazaro, man. Don't make it too, too complicated because if you try to utilize his skills too, too much, you'll think you're invincible and take on anyone. Don't do that, lads. Do the simple things and uh, do the effective skills as well. And this is another goal by Lazaro. You can see him creeping up on the right-hand side there, lads. I didn't even involve him in this. Just comes to him. Bang! Back of the net. Lovely finish by Lazaro. Lads, check out his game face and his hair, boys. He's got it. He's, he's got that stay staring in my soul. But well, guys, what we're going to do now is get into summary. And let's check out more of Lazano. Did I literally just call him Lazano? Because I know his name's Lazaro, so I don't know why I'm getting muddled up in that. And I know it's because he used to play for Newcastle on loan. And he's a sensational player on this game. Honestly, I had bundles of fun with his cards. And that is one of the main things... I'm going to advocate to possibly do this SBC because it's a fun card. Like, why not have fun on this game? I know some right backs have five star skills. Uh, Junior Sambia, I'm pretty certain he's got five star skills, anyways. But he's not as. Uh, Junior Sambia is more of a centre back than a right back, you know what I mean? Whereas Lazaro is more of a versatile fullback. And what I mean by a versatile fullback, fullback is not really a centre back. He could literally play anywhere on the pitch, man, and do it to great kind of deals and abilities because this guy is bundles of fun and, um, yeah, he's got bundles of ability at the same time. So what I would give for Lazaro's rating, 9.5, you can see that in the top left-hand corner of your screen, and that is not bias, it's not cap or anything like that. I think everyone says cap these days, but honestly, with the versatility of this card, the abilities of this card, the fun of this card, he has to be in 9 points. Like a 9.2 plus. I think 9.5 is definitely a, a good region for this card because he's fantastic, man. He was really a breath of fresh air. And if I can keep him in my, my, in my team for the rest of the year, I will because generally he's one of the better fullbacks on this game. And I'm not saying that lightly because on this game, there is so many good right backs. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of ridiculous, to be honest with you guys. But as far as like La Liga right backs go, he's probably... The most right back of right backs you can get in La Liga. I know you've got Mbabu, more of a centre back. I know you got Lars Bender, more of a centre back. I know you've got Mukiel. I think it was his. Uh, wait, is this new card or right back too? Mukiel, more of a centre back. Honestly, a lot of these right backs in Bundesliga are centre backs. Uh, whereas Lazaro is a full back and uh, a good one at that. A very good one at that. Value for coins. 10 out of 10, lads. A straight 10 out of 10. 1 out of 10 for this card is a sensational price. And again, props to EA where they deserve it. Yeah, the SBC content and stuff, well, the content in general recently has been through the roof, so it's, it's brilliant. It's a brilliant time of the season. The Premier League sucks, uh, team of the season-wise, but ever since then, it's been banging. And the enjoyment would be a 9.7. And guys, you can see on your screen right now, this is the time where you leave your ratings in the comment section below. I want to see your overall rating for Lazaro. I want to see your value for coins for Lazaro. And I want to see your enjoyment. And this 
You don't even have to use him. Just what do you uh, kind of judge him based off his abilities that you've seen today? Maybe stats that you've seen today? Maybe his overall play in general compared to his price? What do you rate him in the comments? We'll go through the rest. He's got 5-star skills, 3-star weak foot. 3 star weak foot does not affect this card in any which way, shape, I mean, or form. He's got high, high work rates. That does affect the card, and I'll get into that in just a second. But again, he puts a lot into the attack. He puts a lot into the defense. And there's a thing where it does attack, uh, like affect him, but he's got something to combat that. He's got the traits. Flair, that is it. For champ starter, best chem star would be Anchor. Personally, I like his defensive uh, boost with that. And of course, sprint speed to 99. Um, if you love your pace on this game. In terms of passing, it's going to be a 7. 7 for physical, 8 for dribbling and shooting. Which just goes to show how well-rounded this card actually is. The pace is a pretty that in the top right. Sackling, dribbling, versatility. Because honestly, this card could play genuinely anyway. Even striker. Stamina, 90. Imperative with high, high work rates. And he's got that. Shooting. Sensational. At times, you've seen that banger of a finish at the end as well. And of course, the only con is positioning. Now, that is... Because he's high, high work rates, he's normally out of position at the back. And this is what I'm talking about. If you go on a counter-attack, he loves to get involved, lads. Loves to get involved. So, again... Just watch out for that, but he's got the pace to recover, and that goes against that. So, again, positioning is a corner due to the work rates, but the pace kind of builds him out all the time. Similar player would be Cancelo. Again, a versatile player, but um, Lazaro's got the five-star skills, boys. I uh, recommend the links, of course. you got the Austrian from the Bundes in, in terms of Sabitze and David Alaba. And you've got players from the same club as well. And if Lena... I think it's Lena gets a, a special card this year. It would be a perfect link into Lazaro. But got a strong link from all three of those. Sabitza, Alaba, and Nihaus. I guarantee he's got a house, man. Uh, lads, thank you very much for watching this review. Again, I did promise it for this morning, but... Lads, I slept in. I, honestly, I don't know how I slept in, man. It's one of those things where my dog got up at 4 a.m. I went back to sleep. And it's just like a brand new sleep. I slept through my alarm and everything. Uh, nightmare. Day gone. Day wasted. But... Reviews are coming thick and fast, so thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one, lads.